Welcome to the warm-up presented by GA Windsor & Sons. I'm Mark Hoots. Matt Finkel will join us in a little bit as we're in Ada today to talk with the Ada Bulldogs. Joined by Ada's head coach, Bob Olwyn, third year here at Ada. Coming off of a 5-5 a five and five campaign, good middle part of that season, but I'm thinking the end of that year might have left a little bit of a bitter taste in your guys' mouth, maybe giving you some inspiration for this year. Well, I think it's definitely helped us in the winter with the weight room and the motivation to prove the critics wrong that we're a 500 club and got a lot of young kids this year and, and they're, they're hungry to uh, be a winner. Big change for Ada this season, reclassified as Division 7, Division 6 sure, last year. Sure, sure, sure. Theoretically, that might make it a little bit easier right. for you to get into the postseason, but at the same time, you, you got to win games first before you can worry about Week 11. You, know, you definitely always have to win games, no matter what division you're in, to qualify uh, for the playoffs. And, you know, you, you can't win 10 unless you win one. So, you know, our focus is on the first game of the year and working on that everything after that. Another change for Ada. Coaching staff's a little different this year. Take us through the, the changes to your coaching staff. Well, we've uh, added Adam Bumgardner, uh, former Defiance College uh, defensive coordinator. Uh, David Allen's come back, uh, former uh, coach, first year here at Ada, but he's been an Ada person for his whole life. Um, and, you know, he's coaching defensive line. And uh, Joe Wolber came up from the junior high. So we got some new faces, and, and they're really getting after the kids and, and showing them the ability of them as an assistant coach, but really uh, asking for high expectations from the kids to do everything uh, full blast and in a sharp fashion. Last year you had Seth Conley, a freshman at quarterback. Is he back this year a signal caller? He's he's a freshman again this year. No, uh, <laughs> Seth's back uh, as a sophomore. He's a lot more mature um, body-wise, and he knows the reads a lot a lot quicker this year. And and uh, we're really looking forward to him having an outstanding year for us. He went through the growing pains and the nerves and everything as a freshman, and, and um, you know this year should be a lot easier for him. What's the line looking like, both on the offensive and defensive side of things? Um, I, I would say that that's the area that that we need to improve the most uh, coming into the season, into practice, and everything. Uh, we lost uh, uh, four of our five offensive linemen and uh, uh, two or three of the defensive linemen. So, anytime you lose those guys, and especially you know really good players, uh, Levi Bass and and Noah Beach and, and um, Dylan Hanna and Luke, uh, or, uh, Lane Nitsche. You lose those guys that have went through the wars and, and everything in the weight room and they went through the wars and the games and the playoffs and everything. So, you know, you're starting all over almost again. But we have some young kids that are real excited about getting their opportunity and, and we have some older kids that, you know, are really excited because, you know, they didn't get a whole lot of Friday night uh, experience but they're very eager to do it this year and some of them are the final season for them and, and things and you know that senior year is special and, and they're really looking forward to it what do you think the strength of this year's team is going to be right now it's it's the receiving core and the and the and the back half of the defense mm -hmm. you know but our kicking game is real strong as well so you know those three areas right now uh, seem to be our strength how'd the summer go for the program good we had, we had good attendance in the weight room uh, we have good attitude right now and going into the season and everything they're just they're eager they don't want to practice they just want to go play and and things and you know i'm sort of with them there <laughs> My legs get a little tired standing out here uh, for four or five hours a day and, and everything. But, you know, they're running around, but they're 16, you know, so that makes a big difference. <laughs> but uh, uh, there's no other place to be but, you know, out on the practice field. Division 7 this year, as we mentioned, smaller school, Ada. How are the numbers coming out for to play football? Are you happy with how many kids you've got on the sidelines? Well, we'd season? like every boy in the school to be out, but that's not the scenario. Um, we have about 35, 36, which is up from last year. So, you know, we're making headway that way. But, um, you know, 
we coach the ones that show up and to their best of our ability and and make the team out of those 35 or 36 kids. Preseason, before we get into the NWC, open up at Upper Saratoga Valley, travel to Arlington, and then home before Lima Central Catholic. What are you expecting out of those first three non-conference games? Some tough uh, task, you know, schedule-wise. You know, Arlington's had a real, real uh, good run, and LCC's a, a strong opponent. USV's a big rival for us. You know, they they really get uh, excited about playing us, and it's over at their place. So, you know, uh, they're all tough. And then we jump right into the Northwest Conference. So, um, you know. You got to you got to pack your lunch and go play everybody on your schedule. You got to play them sometime anyway. So, you know, we just got to go to work and take care of what we can take care of and and who we play and what the weather's like is out of our control. You in the past, Ada's opened with Harden Northern, now open with USV. Is it important to have a county rival in that week one to try and get a little juice going to, to start off the season that way? No, I think, you know, just every program I've ever been to, the kids are really excited to play that week one. You know, so, I, you know, it just adds to the excitement of, of opening night and opening schedule, you know, and things like that to, to play a rival, you know, that's eight miles away or whatever it is. NWC play, you open up on the road against Spencerville. I think you look at the NWC this year, and I think it's going to be a pretty competitive league top to bottom once again. Yeah, it was pretty competitive last year. You know, yeah, Each year it's been competitive. Um, you know, uh, Jefferson's is going to be good. Spencerville's loaded, and Grove's coming off a state semifinal uh, appearance and had a great year last year. Bluffton's always talented. You know, uh, you got Crestview in there. Alan East has got a lot of kids back. You know, so from top to bottom, it, it's going to be be tough. From a scheduling perspective, are, are you happy that the NWC is finally going not weeks four through ten, all conference games? You don't have to worry about trying to find a, a non-conference game in that. Yeah, it makes it tough on the AD to find that that ninth game or yeah. sixth game, you know, and stuff like that. So it's a lot easier for him. But uh, yeah, I'd I'd rather it be the, the way it is now. All right, I want to thank Bob Olin, our guest here on the warm-up presented by G.A. Windsor and Son. We're going to take a break. When we come back, more from Ada here on WOSA. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by G.A. Windsor. We're in Ada, and I'm joined by three Bulldog seniors. It is Slate Johansson to my right, wide receiver, defensive back, Justin Shoemaker in the middle, who plays on the line, and Colton Lee also on the line on the end. Slate, let's start with you. How's the training camp been treating you so far? Must be nice to get out here for your senior year and back to football, right? Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty exciting. Uh, we got a lot of young guys that really are excited to be out here, and there's a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, all the seniors are real excited to be here, and I don't know, it's just it's just a blast right now. Justin, what have the seniors done to show their leadership uh, early on in, in this training camp? I'm assuming a lot of the younger guys are looking up to you. Uh, a lot of older guys are getting the young people to show up to practice a lot more and what they have in the past years and getting more jacked for the season. Right. Colton, what can we expect uh, on the line this season? Are you guys a bigger group, or are you going to have to to grit your way out there? Um, I'd say we'll probably work hard this year. We got uh, two re returning Thanks. offensive linemen, so I think it'll be good this year. Our offensive line will be good. Yeah, sweet. What about Coach Owen do you enjoy playing for? I, I know he's he's a bit of a character, and you guys have a good time here at practice. What, what makes practice fun with Coach Owen? Oh, Coach Owen, he's just always excited. He's always got something to say. He's always uh, – this offense is just so exciting. It's fun to watch. It's, it's, it'd be hard not to be, have fun playing in that, so it's just a good time. Justin, what do you think needs to be improved the most before week one when you guys take on USV? Uh – the most improved we need to get improved is probably run into the ball a lot more quickly and stuff like that. Colton, I see you're wearing a seven-on-seven seven shirt. I know Ada participated in one this summer. How'd that go, and, and what'd you learn about your team? Um, 
it went well and all of us are like quick and strong so and I th think we came in first place in uh, one of them yeah so that's good. Cyrus one yeah yeah that's good get it a little good. team camaraderie going start winning and yep we sure do. into winning ways yep. once the season begins well best of luck to you guys this season we need to take a time out here on the warm-up presented by ga windsor but when we come back we'll be joined by a couple more bulldogs Third and final down here on the warm-up from Ada, presented by GA Windsor & Sons. A couple more Bulldog seniors joining me now. It is Cole East on my right, wide receiver, cornerback, and kicker. And Weston Robinson there on the end, plays center and defensive line. Cole, let's start with you. Coach said you guys are excited to play some games. You've got a scrimmage scheduled for the 11th against Lipsick. What are you looking forward to about taking on another opponent? Uh, Lipsick, they're a good team. You know, I think that'll give us a good look going into you know, are going into our second scrimmage. Weston, what about you? you? Excited to take the field, see how this team stacks up against another team? Yeah, our line has been uh, behind all these three Northwest uh, Conference linemen that have been on the all Northwest Conference line. So we've all got educated on how to do better and how to work hard and get another Northwest Conference title. Yeah, Cole, let's talk about the NWC. Very competitive, top to bottom. What do you need to do each week to bring it in that in those conference games and make sure you guys come out on the winning side? You know, uh, we got to prepare because any game in the NWC is not easy. So, you know, we got to come out prepared and ready to play on Friday nights. Yeah, Weston, you guys open up league play at Spencerville. Is there a particular league game that you have your eye on? Uh, not really. We just, we just need to work hard and do our best to know our plays, and we just need to run up and down the field and, do as best we can. Cole, Coach also mentioned that the, one of the strengths of this year's team is the kicking game, and I assume he's talking about you there. What have you done in the offseason to improve your kicking game and, and make that an asset for this team? Well, I got a soccer background, so, you know, it's just, just like kicking a soccer ball, but there's a little more of a sweet spot, and the ball's a lot less lighter, so it goes a lot farther. Right. Weston, for you, what do you think the team needs to improve upon between now and week one, maybe using these, these two days and then the scrimmages to get better? What's the one area? Uh, probably work teamwork, just to get used to working together. Most of us don't have uh, the place of being starting, and we're all coming in new, starting. So we just all got to get to work together and just keep working hard all, all year long. Cole, have you seen that sense of camaraderie already in camp and everybody working hard together? Yeah, I think so. I mean, our, our seniors are leading by example, which they should be. And, uh, you know, the younger guys are following. And we got a couple of juniors that are stepping up, and that's all we need. Well, best of luck to you guys. Thanks for letting us come by camp. Good luck when the season gets started. That's going to do it for this edition of the Warm Up presented by GA Windsor & Son. For Mark Kuntz, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on the West Ohio Sports Network.